Okay, let's fire off with the first question. Um, I've heard rumors that you're planning a new record, and of course we would love to hear some more details about that. There is a new album. It's pretty much finished, and it's due out about October, we think. Uh, Motley Crue is the one that last run now. What do you think their biggest contribution to the history of uh, hard rock and metal will be? Their legacy? Tattoos, spinning drum risers. Um, <laughs> they put on a great show. They're like a rock and roll circus. You know, they're, um, they, you read the book and they rewrote the rules on how to be uh, uh, the debauchery side of rock and roll, which is sad really in a way because it maybe overshadows the music. And I believe that Nikki Six is a really good songwriter, but sometimes their um, ability to get on the front page for marrying models or getting into fights has, has overshadowed their music somewhat. But um, we toured with, with Crew three years ago in the UK and they put on a great show. So it's sad really, but you know, the more these bands go away, the more room there is for us to keep going. So. Uh, you know, rock music was always involved uh, from rock and roll and rhythm and blues to glam rock and then to hair metal and so on. So do you think that it, there is still a way for rock music to evolve? And do you think that there will be new bands of, you know, caliber of Beatles and Queen and Death Leopard? Thank you. Yeah, I, I think there's, um, nowadays, we live in a very niche world. There's so much entertainment, there's so much media out there. I, I don't think that we will probably see another band that will have the worldwide ubiquity and, and the influence of a band like, like Queen or the Beatles or the Rolling Stones, um, only because in this day and age, like I said, everyone only gravitates to what is of interest to them. Um, but that's not to say that there isn't the talent out there. There's a lot of great, great music being made. It's a lot easier nowadays to make records. As Joe said earlier, um, young bands are producing themselves because you no longer need to go into a very expensive studio for a year or six months to make a record. You can, you can do it at home on a laptop with some software and some good microphones. But I, to answer your question directly, I do think the rock music will survive because there's always gonna be angst that can only be expressed through the aggression of rock music. And I, I think at, at different times in, in the human life, we go through these, uh, these times where we really need to kick a fucking hole in a wall. And rock music is the only soundtrack that is suitable for that so 